what I'll do is I'll replace the 100 NF capacitor in the A stable for a 1 NF capacitor and that'll, that'll give me a frequency of up to 60, 60 or so kilohertz so we'll have a look at that now All right, we'll just switch that on and there we go to take the time base right up we are now on 5 micro, five microseconds so each division is 5 microseconds I'm just trying to clean that signal up a little bit there we go so this is the A stable on the top and the mono stable on the bottom this is the pulse that goes to the base of the SSG and that's that's why those particular the resistor and capacitor on the mono stable are, are quite important now if I adjust the frequency of the A stable you can see that the frequency of the mono stable doesn't alter at all It's running. It's running in in the, like I say, sort of 50 or 60 kilohertz. So we're getting a, a bit of curling on the on the on the A stable. But that's what it's all about. It's all about. It's all about that pulse at the bottom. If I increase the base resistance again, the sorry, the A stable resistance. You can see the width of that that bottom pulse it never changes, and the A stable sets the frequency at which the pulse occurs. So that that's pretty much how the circuit works. Now setting frequency, you can do it mathematically and with the scope. But at, at low frequencies, the maths work fine. All you need to know is is the resistance in the A stable. Okay, let's have a look at the period of the wave. The period is one high and one low. That's that's one cycle, if you like. And um, because it's a 50-50% duty, it's it's half and half. But one low, one high. That that's that's the period. So if we just increase, right. So there to there is the period. Now the scope set on 0.2 milliseconds per division. So if we count the divisions, let's just line that up so it's easy to... there's three, six, seven divisions. Okay let's have a look at that on paper. We say seven divisions times 0.2 equals 1.4 1 divided by 1.4 milliseconds so in, in seconds that's 0 0.0014 equals 714 hertz I'd already worked that out by the way Okay, now I've run the potentiometer all the way to maximum, which is decrease the frequency. So I'll go down. There we go. So again, there's a there's the period, and because we're set on five milliseconds per division, we've got one, two, three four, five, six point one divisions. Okay. Um six point one times five equals thirty point five milliseconds. To get the frequency we divide that by one 
1 divided by, well first we have to, to, to convert it to seconds which is 0 0.0305 seconds and that gives us an answer of 32.7 hertz which if you check the document this this um, oscillator came quite close according to my multimeter okay calculating frequency from component values isn't too hard with the a stable timer and um, we need to know the time or period that the selected components would give us so time equals 1.4 times resistance in ohms times capacitance in farads now our capacitor value is, is 0.1 microfarads so C would equal six zeros plus one farads Point zero 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 one. That's that's the capacitance in farads. Resistance in ohms, because we've got a potentiometer in series with the ten k resistor, we've obviously got variable resistance. So if we say R one as minimum resistance, that would equal ten thousand ohms, and R two is maximum resistance which is 210,000 ohms the potentiometer being 200 ohms we can now work time out based on the R1 value and the R2 value so if we say 1.4 times R1 which is 10,000 times the capacitance which is 0 0.000001 000 equals 0 0.0014 right now we'll work out for the highest resistance R2 so that's 1.4 times 210,000 ohms times 0 0.000, 000 001 farads equals 0 0.0294 so time for R1 is 0 0.0014 and time for R2 is 0 0.0294 so if we say frequency for this one is 1 divided by 0 0.0014 which equals 714.2 Hertz and frequency for this number is 1 divided by 0 0.0294 which equals 34 Hertz so maximum resistance we've got 34 hertz and minimum 714.2 and if I remember rightly um, when I measured the circuit for the documents I think it was 32 hertz and 713 so they're quite close